up jumping right into the video you want to start off with a new wig cap um particularly one that's going to be closer to your skin color um and then of course i just have my frontal wig here um this is the lobby hair i believe it's the brazilian straight or the body wave so make sure you check out that video and as you can see i lightened the hair up quite a bit so i'll have a video on that too and i'll also have a review coming up so i'm just taking the wig off of this canvas blockhead showing you the inside and what it looks like um, I only have about one comb inside of it. So this step is completely optional. You can take a foundation brush, whatever you have left over on the brush, or you can actually take a powder and apply that directly to your wig cap. Or you can actually do this directly along the lace on the inside of the wig. It'll just kind of help better blend in and so that the cap color isn't too, too far away from your natural, um, you know, scalp color. And so I do have an elastic band sewn on the inside of the cap, so I'm just showing you that. And you actually want to put the wig on with it directly facing toward you. Tilt your head down, put the elastic band over the back of your head. Um, if you have braids or a ponytail, this would be perfect because you can tuck it right up under that. That kind of helps with the security. Pull the back of the cap down. I don't actually have a wig comb um, at the back, but typically you would want a wig comb or bobby pin that down and then just flip the wig up. So all you have to do from here is just pretty much adjust the front of the wig. I do have another wig, well I do have one wig comb at the very top of the wig, but here I'm just kind of adjusting it, making sure it's matching up with my hairline or wherever I want my hairline to appear. And then this cap does have an adjustable band, so that's one of the reasons I didn't use wig combs, and I'm just tightening those up here. And so just to kind of make sure this wig is not going anywhere, it's not sliding back or anything like that, I'm taking that comb and just kind of tucking it into a braid. So this was kind of hard to do. I don't usually wear like a wig cap, um, but I just kind of took a shortcut out because my braids, like they weren't exactly lined up with the parting of this wig. And I'm just pulling out the very front of that lace, laying it as flat as possible on my hairline. I'm not using like any tape or any glue, nothing like that. Just literally laying it down. And I'll have an FAQ video coming out um, just pretty much explaining everything you need to know about a frontal because I get a lot of questions about if the sides of the frontal flip upward or just kind of how I lay everything flat. But as you can see, I'm just kind of pushing all of the hairs into place. And this step is also optional. Um, if you aren't happy with the parting, go ahead and take like some leftover foundation, concealer, powder, and go ahead and blend those lines together. I didn't actually have to do this, but um, just for the purposes of the video. And then I do have a lot of uh, flyaways. So I went ahead and took my argan oil hairspray, sprayed it on my hands and just kind of rubbing, rubbing it through the hair. And because the hair is blonde, those flyaways are much more noticeable. And then, of course, I'm taking my mousse just to kind of smooth out the hair. Um, if there were any flyaways at the top, this would kind of help with that. But I didn't really have too, too many with this frontal. And it just kind of locks everything in place. And I allow it to air dry. I don't like sitting in a dryer or anything like that. It really dries, like, kind of fast. So just smoothing it in. And of course, tucking this little piece behind my ear. And if you guys know me personally, then you guys know I love some hair tucked behind your ear. Like, I don't know. It's my go-to. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this definitely helped you out if you were having trouble with properly putting on the wigs and laying it down. Um, make sure you check out the next series of videos that are going to come out giving you all of the details you need to know on the frontal and then the update on this hair so thank you guys for watching i love you and i'll see you in my next video